Tahseen Khan, Assistant Professor at Bhagyodhiti Pharmacy College, Sagar. Today we are going to deal with an interesting and learning episode of B Farm Fifth Sem on the important title Pharmacology of CNS Two, scripted by Dr. G P Chaudhary, Reader, School of Pharmacy, Devi Ahilla University, Indore, and Ashutosh Pal Jain, Assistant Professor at Bhagyodhiti Pharmacy College, Sagar. So. Let's start our episode while taking a glance at what we are going to learn today. First, we will begin with the general introduction of the topic, followed by anti-anxiety agents, sedative and hypnotics, psychopharmacological agents, and centrally acting muscle agents. Now, let's start with introduction of the topic, pharmacology of CNS two. So here we will start our module number one, introduction. The central nervous system, that is CNS, is the processing center for the nervous system. It receives information from and sends information to the peripheral nervous system. The two main organs of the CNS are the brain and the spinal cord. The brain processes and interprets sensory information sent from the spinal cord. Sleep is a naturally reoccurring state of mind characterized by altered consciousness. Sensory activity, inhibition of nearly all voluntary muscles, and reduced interactions with surroundings. During sleep, most systems in an animal are in an anabolic state, building up the immune, nervous, skeletal, and muscular systems. Humans may suffer from a number of sleep disorders. These include dysomnias, includes insomnia, hypersomnia, and sleep apnea. Parasomnias, sleepwalking, and REM behavior disorder, the circadian rhythm sleep disorder. Central nervous system that is CNS represents a category of drugs that slow normal brain functions. There are various kinds of CNS depressants, most of which act on the brain by affecting the neurotransmitter gamma aminobutyric acid that is GABA. Neurotransmitters are brain chemicals that Conduct communication between brain cells. GABA works by decreasing brain activity and the ability to increase GABA activity. That they produce a relaxing effect that is beneficial to those suffering from anxiety or sleep disorders. CNS depressant should be used with other medications only under a physician's supervision. Typically, they should not be combined. With any other medication or substance that causes CNS depression, including prescription pain medicines, cold and allergy medications, this is a group of drugs with diverse chemical structures that induce a behavioral depression. The primary use of anxiolytic, sedative, and hypnotic drugs to encourage calmness or to produce sleep. The difference between An anxiolytic, sedative, and hypnotic is generally quantitative. CNS depression starting from relief of friends. Here we see the figure number one, which represents a linear dose response curve. Here, the CNS depression starting from the relief of anxiety, sedation, hypnosis, anesthesia, coma, and finally death. These effects depend upon their dose. Their route of administration and their physicochemical characteristics. This desired effect produces relief from anxiety, inhibitions, induces relaxation, sleep unconsciousness, general anesthesia, and coma. Understandings of nervous system pharmacology. Following aspects are highlighted in this lesson. Number one is anti-anxiety agents. Number two, sedative and hypnotics. Number three. Psychopharmacological agents, number four, centrally acting muscle agents. Here we have come to our next module, that is module number two, anti-anxiety agents. Anxiety is both a normal emotion 
and a disorder which can cause profound distress and psychiatric disorder. Anxiolytic act on the central nervous system to improve the symptoms of anxiety, nervousness, mood stabilizing and improving sleep. Anxiolytics also known as minor tranquilizers or ataractics agent who decreases worriness manifested as a psychic awareness of anxiety. The ideal anxiolytic drug should calm the patient without causing too much daytime sedation, drowsiness and without producing physical or psychological dependence. All central nervous system depressants have some ability to relieve anxiety. Humans spend about one third of their time in sleep, but people do not complain for hypersomnia but get disturbed if they suffer with insomnia or parasomnia. Insomnia includes a wide variety of sleep disturbance such as difficulty in falling asleep, early or frequent awakening and remaining unrefreshed after sleep. Disturbed sleeps are unsatisfactory ways dealing with day problems and hence the resultant anxiety. Anxiety disorders as recognized clinically include generalized anxiety disorder that is excessive anxiety lacking any clear reason, panic disorder that is sudden attacks of overwhelming fear occur with marked somatic symptoms such as sweating, tachycardia, chest pains, trembling and choking. Next is phobias which includes strong fear of a specific object or situations, example snakes, open spaces, flying and social interactions. Post traumatic stress disorder which includes anxiety triggered by recall of past stressful experiences. Next is obsessive compulsive disorder which includes compulsive ritualistic behavior driven by irritational anxiety. Classification of anxiolytic drugs which includes benzodiazepines, azapyrones, antihistamine and beta blockers. Here the benzodiazepines consist of diazepam, chlorodiazepoxide, oxazepam, lorazepam and alprazolam. Azapyrones includes bispirone, chapirone, spapirone. Next is antihistamine which includes hydroxazine. Next is beta blocker which includes propranolol. Some peculiarity features commonly used anxiolytic drugs. Benzodiazepines are effective predominantly in panic disorder, generalized anxiety disorder and social phobia and have a rapid onset of action. Benzodiazepines act primarily by facilitating inhibitory GABAergic transmission. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors that is SSRIs increase synaptic 5-HT by selectively blocking the 5-HT reuptake transporters. Buspirone is a partial agonist at postsynaptic 5-HT1A receptors in the limbic system and a full agonist at presynaptic 5-HT1 receptors in the rafe. Acute doses cause inhibition of serotonin release which recovers with continued administration. Venlafaxin is a serotonin and noradrenaline reuptake inhibitor that is SNRI. Metrazepine increases synaptic release of serotonin and noradrenaline by blockade of presynaptic inhibitory alpha-2 adrenoreceptors. It also blocks postsynaptic 5-HT2, 5-HT3 and H1 receptors. Here you can see the table number 1 which includes categories, drugs and characters. Here the category number 1 is benzodiazepines where the drugs included diazepam, chlorodiazepoxide, oxazepam, lorazepam and alprazolam. The diazepam characters are quickly absorbed preferred in acute panic state. Chlorodiazepoxide, poor oral absorption preferred in chronic anxiety state. Oxazepam, slowly absorbed and poor penetration in brain preferred in short lasting anxiety state. Lorazepam, slow oral absorption preferred in short lasting anxiety, panic, Obsessive Compulsive Neurosis Alprazolam Hypotensy Anxiolytic Preferred in Anxiety Associated with Depression Number 2 category is Azapyrones where the drug includes Buspirone, Japirone and Spapirone 
where the characters are buspirone is first as a pyrone relieve mild to moderate generalized anxiety next is sedative antihistamine where the drug include hydroxyzine sedative antiemetic antimuscarinic and spasmolytic properties the next category is beta blocker where the drug includes propranolol the characters are non selective sympathetolytic regulate symptoms of anxiety the next is selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors that is ssris where the drug includes citalopram escalatopram floxacin parozetin and sertraline where the characters include first line therapy for all anxiety disorders except simple phobia the next is modern evidence based drug treatment of anxiety disorders here The table includes anxiety disorder, first line treatment, second line treatment and other treatments. First is generalized anxiety disorder that is GAD where the first line treatment is SSRIs example escalatopram, second line treatment venlafaxine, third is other treatment that is benzodiazepines. Next is panic disorders where the first line treatment is SSRIs example citalopram, second line treatment clomipramine. and other treatment contains benzodiazepines example diazepam next is phobias where the first line treatment is psychological therapy and second line treatment benzodiazepines example diazepam next is post traumatic stress disorder where the first line treatment is ssris example perozetin and second line treatment is mitrazepine next is obsessive compulsive disorder where the first line treatment is ssri example fluxetin and second line treatment is clomipramine other treatment includes deep brain stimulation and neurosurgery module 3 sedative hypnotics sedative hypnotics are xenobiotics that limit excitability sedation and induce drowsiness and sleep that is hypnosis sedation means reduce in alertness and responsiveness to any level of stimulation without inducing sleep hypnosis in which the subject becomes passive highly suggestive and obeys the commands in medical terminology hypnosis means a state that resembles natural sleep but the person can aroused by strong stimuli like pin prick all sedative hypnotics one approach to induce central nervous system that is cns depression classification of sedative hypnotics includes barbiturates benzodiazepines and miscellaneous where the barbiturates includes long acting short acting and ultra short acting the long acting drug includes phenobarbital mefobarbital short acting phenobarbital secobarbital amobarbital ultra short acting thiopantone methohexetone next is benzodiazepines the benzodiazepines are frequently classified into three groups long acting intermediate acting and short acting the long acting drugs are diazepam clonazepam flurazepam and clorazepate intermediate acting drugs are alprazolam lorazepam escazolam temazepam short acting drugs are midazolam triazolam third is miscellaneous or newer non benzodiazepine hypnotics antihistamines chloral hydrate zopiclone zolpidem and zeliplon pharmacodynamics most clinically effective sedative hypnotics produce their physiological effects by enhancing the function of gaba mediated chloride channel via agonist at the gaba a receptor these receptors are the primary mediators of inhibitory neurotransmission in the brain the gaba a receptor is a pentameric structure composed of varying polypeptide subunits associated with a chloride channel on the post synaptic membrane variations in the five subunits of gaba receptor confer the potency of its sedative anxiolytic hypnotic amnestic and muscle relaxing properties the most common gaba a receptor in the brain is composed of alpha 1 beta 2 gamma 2 subunits almost all sedative hypnotics bind to gaba a receptors containing the alpha 1 subunit figure number 2 main sites of drug action at gaba a receptor which represents a model of hypothetical gaba bzd chloride ion channel receptor 
complex with site of action of agonist, antagonist, channel blocker and modulators. Dichloroethanol and propofol also inhibit glutamate mediated and methyl deaspartate that is NMDA receptors thereby inhibiting excitatory neurotransmission. In addition, the anxiolytic effects of clonazepam can be partially explained by upregulation of serotonergic receptors, specifically 5-HT1 and 5-HT2. Newer sleep aids such as melatonin and rameltion do not act on GABA-A receptor. Instead, they are agonist at melatonin receptor subtypes, MT1 and MT2 in the suprachiasmatic nucleus of the brain. Pharmacokinetics Most sedative hypnotics are rapidly absorbed via the gastrointestinal that is GI tract with the rate limiting step consisting of dissolution and dispersion of the xenobiotics. Barbiturates and benzodiazepines are primarily absorbed in the small intestine. Drugs that are highly lipophilic penetrates most rapidly. The ultra short acting barbiturates are clinically active in the most vascular parts of brain. After initial distribution, many of the sedative hypnotics undergo a redistribution phase as they are dispersed to other body tissues, specifically fat. Benzodiazepines can be demethylated, hydroxylated and conjugated with glucuronide in the liver. Glucuronidation results in the production of inactive metabolites. Benzodiazepines such as diazepam are demethylated which produces active intermediates with a more prolonged therapeutic half-life than the parent compound. The majority of sedative hypnotics such as the highly lipid soluble barbiturates and the benzodiazepines are highly protein bound. These drugs are poorly filtered by the kidneys. Elimination occurs principally by hepatic metabolism. Table selection criteria for sedative hypnotics. The group includes benzodiazepines, barbiturates and miscellaneous. Benzodiazepines, clonazepam and chlorazepate. The advantages are potential use in chronic therapy for seizures. Fluorazepam, quazepam. The advantages are these less potent and more slowly excreted show no remount insomnia on discontinuation of treatment. Lorazepam, temazepam, where the advantages are, does not require phase 1 metabolism, safer in hepatic impairment. The disadvantage is, they may disturb intellectual functioning and motor dexterity. It have the potential for dependence and withdrawal seizures. The next group is barbiturates, where the drugs are phenobarbital, pentobarbital, the advantages, Phenobarbitone is one of the cheapest and least toxic anti-epileptic. Psychobarbital, amobarbital. Use as a preoperative drug to produce anesthesia. Anxiolysis in short surgicals. Thiopental, rapid onset of action. The disadvantages are these drugs induce tolerance, drug metabolizing enzyme and physical dependence. Next group is miscellaneous where the drugs include Buspirone, the advantages, prolonged use for chronic anxiety, does not potentiate the CNS depression of alcohol, little potential for addiction. The disadvantage, slower onset of action than benzodiazepine, have no anticonvulsant or muscle relaxing properties. The next is Zelplon Zolpidem, show minimal withdrawal effect, minimal rebound insomnia, with the disadvantage of have no anticonvulsant or muscle relaxing properties. No tolerance occurs in prolonged use. Module 4. Now coming to psychopharmacological agents. Schizophrenia affects about 1% of the population. It is one of the most important forms of psychiatric illness because it affects young people is often chronic and is usually highly disabling. There is a strong hereditary factor in its etiology and evidence suggestive of a fundamental biological disorder. The main 
Clinical features of the disease are as follows. First, positive symptoms, delusions, often paranoid in nature, hallucinations, usually in the form of voices, which are often excitatory in their message. Thought disorder, comprising wild trains of thought, garbled sentences and irritational conclusions. Sometimes associated with the feeling that thought are inserted or withdrawn by an outside agency. Abnormal behaviors such as stereotyped movements and occasionally aggressive behaviors. Negative symptoms. Withdrawal from social contacts. Flattening of emotional responses. Schizophrenia is a chronic condition and people living with the condition often require long-term treatment with antipsychotic drugs. However, there is evidence that it results from abnormal neurotransmission systems in the brain, especially in the dopaminergic, serotonergic and glutamatergic systems. The development of antipsychotics represents one of the most important success of applied neuroscience. In most patients, antipsychotic drugs bring a significant improvement in psychotic symptoms and better health and quality of life. Neurobiological mechanism is the final therapeutic target responsible for the beneficial effect of distorted information processing in schizophrenia and for subsequent elimination of psychotic symptoms. Antipsychotic drugs offer not only a better therapeutic tool but because of their stratified effect on the finer dimensions of psychotic symptoms. The older antipsychotic drugs were associated with motorcide effect like tremor and other involuntary movements. The newer antipsychotic drugs are relatively safe in this regard. The older antipsychotic drugs are first typical or first generation antipsychotic drugs and the newer ones are called atypical or second generation antipsychotic drugs. Classification of antipsychotics. First, classical or typical antipsychotics. First is phenothiazines, aliphatic tertiary amine side chain, example, chlorpromazine, piperidine side chain, example, thioridazine, piperazine side chain, example, trifluoroperazine and flufinazine. Next is thioxanthines, which includes Flupenthixol, thiothixine, and ziclopenthixol. Next is butyrophenones, includes haloperidol and benperidol. Next is miscellaneous, which contains pimoxide, penfluoridol, and loxapine. Next is novel or atypical antipsychotics olanzapine, clozapine, reserpidone, ziprosidone, and aripiprazole. Friends, here you can see the figure number 3 which represents the antipsychotic drugs mechanism site. Drugs used in schizophrenia. Chlorpromazine, the first drug to effectively treat psychotic disorders, belongs to this group. The phenothiazines are well absorbed after oral and parental administration. They are distributed to most body tissues and reach high concentrations in the brain. They are metabolized in the liver by the cytochrome P450 enzyme system. Several produce pharmacologically active metabolites. Metabolites are excreted in urine. Haloperidol is a butyrophenone used in psychiatric disorders. A related drug, droperidol, is used in anesthesia and as an antiemetic. Haloperidol is a frequently used potent long-acting drug. It is well absorbed after oral or intramuscular administration. It's metabolized in the liver and is excreted in urine and bile. It may cause adverse effects similar to those of the phenothiazines. Loxapine is similar to phenothiazines and related drugs. It is recommended for use in only the treatment of schizophrenia. Molidone differs chemically from other agents but has similar pharmacological actions. Pemozide is approved only for the treatment of Roritz syndrome in clients who fail to respond to haloperidol. Potentially serious adverse effects include tardive dyskinesia, major motor seizures and sudden death.
thiotixine is used only for antipsychotic effects although it produces other effects similar to those of the phenothiazines clozapine the prototype of the atypical agents is chemically different from the older antipsychotic drugs it blocks both dopamine and serotonin receptors in the brain advantages of clozapine include improvement of negative symptoms without causing the extra pyramidal effects associated with older antipsychotic drugs olanzapine has therapeutic effects similar to those of clozapine but adverse effects may differ compared with clozapine olanzapine is more likely to cause extra pyramidal effects and less likely to cause granulocytosis compared with the typical antipsychotics olanzapine reportedly cause less sedation extra pyramidal symptoms anticholinergic effects and orthostatic hypotension olanzapine is metabolized in the liver and excreted in urine and feces quetiapine like the other atypical agents blocks both dopamine and serotonin receptors and relieves both positive and negative symptoms of psychosis common adverse effects include drowsiness headache orthostatic hypotension and weight gain risperidone also blocks both dopamine and serotonin receptors and relieves both positive and negative symptoms of psychosis it relieved positive symptoms anxiety and depression to a greater degree and caused less weight gain than olanzapine zipro cisdone is another atypical agent used to treat schizophrenia it is effective in suppressing many of the negative symptoms such as blunted affect lack of motivation and social withdrawal adverse effects include cardiac dysarrhythmias drowsiness headache and nausea and weight gain is less likely than with other antipsychotic drugs aripiprazole the newest atypical drug is approved for the treatment of schizophrenia the beneficial effect of aripiprazole in patients with schizophrenia is proposed to involve a combination of partial agonist activity at d2 and serotonin 5ht1 a receptors and antagonist activity at serotonin 5ht2 a receptors it may cause neuroleptic malignant syndrome it may also cause neuroleptic malignant syndrome tardive dyskinesia weight gain hyperglycemia and diabetes mellitus adverse effect the atypical neuroleptic have a better safety profile than classical neuroleptics dystonia akathisia and parkinsonism usually appear early during treatment while tardive dyskinesia and neuroleptic malignant syndrome appear prolonged treatment of schizophrenia neurological side effect due to d2 receptor block in nigrostracial pathway dystonias characterized by spasm of muscles of tongue face neck and back akathisia characterized by uncontrolled motor restlessness parkinson disturbance in the da acetylcholine balance in basal ganglia neuroleptic malignant syndrome characterized by hyperparesia muscle rigidity and damaged tardive dyskinesia characterized by oral buccal lingual dyskinesia drug interactions with antipsychotic drugs antacids decrease absorption of antipsychotic drugs anticholinergics increased anticholinergic effects barbiturates decrease antipsychotic effects but more sedation alcohol more sedation levodopa decrease efficacy of neuroleptics cigarette smoking increased metabolism of antipsychotic drugs oral contraceptives may potentiate hyperprolactaminase module 5 centrally acting muscle relaxants these are drugs which reduce skeletal muscle tone by a selective action in the cerebrospinal axis without changing consciousness they selectively depress spinal and supraspinal polysynaptic reflexes involved in the regulation of muscle tone without significantly affecting monosynaptically mediated stretch reflex dear friends here you can see the figure number 4 which represents 
centrally acting muscle relaxants agent pathway. The cross section of a spinal cord showing components involved in the stretch reflex arch with postulated site of action of diazepam and baclofen. Next is classification of centrally acting muscle relaxants. Mifacin group are believed to be spinal interneuncial neuron blocking agents. They preferentially inhibit polysynaptic reflexes without affecting monosynaptic tendon reflexes. These are used to treat muscle spasm of local origin such as spondylitis, sprains and lumbago. Mifensine was the first drug found to cause muscle relaxation in animal without producing unconsciousness. It is not used clinically because it is gastric irritant and parental cause thrombocytophobitis, hemolysis and hypotension. Chlorzoxazone has longer duration of action that is 8 to 12 hours but has slower onset of action. It is orally better tolerated. Carisoprodol has medium duration of action that is 4 to 5 hours beside muscle relaxant action. It also has analgesic, antipyretic and anti-muscarinic action. Methocarbamol undergoes first pass metabolism and hence preferred by parental root. It is less sedative and longer acting than mifensin. Benzodiazepine group. These drugs enhance GABA transmission in brain and act on GABA A receptor. They inhibit both monosynaptic as well as polysynaptic reflexes and produce marketed sedation. These are particularly useful in spinal injuries, tetanus and rheumatic disorder with muscle spasm. Sedation is the major side effect. GABA derivative. Baclofen is orally active GABA mimetic drug which act on GABA B receptor. The GABA B receptor are G protein coupled receptor which hyperpolarize neurons by increase K plus conductance and reducing calcium ion conductance. It relieves painful spasticity, it multiple sclerosis and also treats spasticity from spinal injuries. It can also serve as important substitute to treat trigeminal neuralgia and tardive dyskinesia. Sedation, drowsiness, muscle weakness and ataxia are major side effects. Central alpha-2 agonist, dizanidine. It acts by presynaptic inhibition in spinal cord which inhibit the release of excitatory amino acid in spinal interneuron. It may facilitate the inhibit to transmitter glycine as well. Dizanidine is absorbed orally, undergoes first pass metabolism and excreted by the kidney. It is widely used in treatment of spasticity in multiple sclerosis. It is also effective in patients with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Side effect includes drowsiness, dry mouth, asthenia and hypotension. Summary in this chapter, we describe anxiety states and sleep disorders, a common problems and sedative hypnotics are among the most widely prescribed drugs today. CNS depressant effects depend upon their dose, route of administration and their physiochemical characters. Here, we describe the different types of CNS depressing agents. Physiopharmacological agents are effective in treatment of schizophrenia and other agitated state. Without them, much of modern medicine would be impossible with negligible extrapyramidal side effect. These were labeled as atypical neuroleptics. We also discussed some general aspects of centrally acting muscle agents and described their therapeutic application and pharmacology. With all these information, here we come to the end of our today's lecture. Pharmacology of CNS2. I will be back with few more lectures in the series. Do keep in mind that what we discussed today. Time for you to self-study. If you want to learn more and enhance your knowledge, you may log on to our website for MCQs, quizzes, LORs at www.cec.nic.in. Till then, keep studying. Goodbye. Thank you.
Thank you.